So you've spent a few months with your kit lens and you're ready to make your first lens purchase. Preferably something that's budget friendly, something that can do things that your kit lens can't do, and maybe even something that fits in your pocket. And of course we're talking about the good old 50 millimeter lens, AKA the Nifty 50. Almost every professional photographer, videographer, vlogger, YouTuber recommends this lens because it's such a great value. So I followed that advice and I picked up the Panasonic 25 millimeter 1.7 and I've been using it on my Lumix G85 for the past couple months. If you're unfamiliar with Micro Four Thirds cameras like the Lumix G85, a 25 millimeter is the equivalent to a 50 millimeter on a full frame lens. The Panasonic 25 millimeter is what I'll be reviewing specifically for this video, but pretty much everything that I say applies to any 50 millimeter equivalent on any other camera system. So after a couple months of shooting both video and photo, I can say with confidence that every Micro Four Thirds owner who's a beginner to intermediate level should definitely pick up this lens and here are five reasons why. Number one is low light capability. The lowest aperture you'll find on most kit lenses is probably a 3.5, which is not ideal for low light. And since the smaller sensors on Micro Four Thirds camera already give it a disadvantage in situations like this, the 1.7 aperture allows it to let in a lot more light. I found the low aperture especially helpful when shooting B-roll shots in low light with no lighting setup. Number two is the 50 millimeter focal length. I just find the 50 millimeter to be really pleasing to the eye when I'm shooting video and photo. And a lot of people say that it's the best representation of the human eye, which I would agree with. And when you pair that with a 1.7 aperture, you can get some really nice portrait shots with that shallow depth of field. And it's really cool when you're shooting B-roll shots close in and even shooting interviews. I think 50 mil is just about right in the sweet spot. It's not too wide. It's not too tight. It's also great as a walk around lens because you don't have to worry about getting too close or going back too far to get certain shots. Number three is that it's a prime lens. A prime lens means that it has a fixed focal length and they're generally sharper than your zoom lenses. When I compare my 25 millimeter to my 12 to 60 millimeter kit lens, it's slightly sharper for video and it's noticeably sharper when shooting stills. I love the 12 to 60 for video, but honestly I didn't start taking more photos and sharing those photos until I got the 25 millimeter. I'm definitely still a novice at taking photos, but having the 25 millimeter in my bag has given me tons of confidence and it's really upped my Instagram game. Shameless plug right here. Follow me on Instagram guys. And even not for video, unless I'm vlogging or I need that extra real estate that the 12 to 60 provides, I'm usually just using the 25 mil for everything now. Number four is the size. One of the things I love about the Lumix G85 is its size and portability, which makes it easy to bring around anywhere I go. This lens weighs about only a quarter of a pound, and it's only 3.5 inches in length with the lens hood on, and less than three without. Getting such great photo and video out of a small, lightweight camera lens combo like this one is a big reason why I love the Micro Four Thirds system. And the fifth and final reason why I recommend you get this lens is definitely because of the price. At just $147 new, that's right guys, just $147, all the great qualities that I just mentioned are made even sweeter when you think about how inexpensive this lens is. So there are my five reasons for why you should buy the Panasonic 25mm if you're in the beginner to intermediate level and looking to buy your first lens after your kit lens. And again, all the reasons that I gave to buy this 25mm lens apply to any 50mm equivalent on any other camera system, including the size and the low price. Links to this lens and all the gear that I use are in the description below if you guys would like to check it out. Please like this video if you found value in it and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm going to be sharing more videos like this, sharing the knowledge that I gain on my journey to becoming a professional filmmaker and photographer. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Number three. Number three is that it's a Links to this lens and all the gear. Oh, dang it. Please like this video if you found value in it and, and <laughs>